Hey everyone, welcome back to a Talks with Todd the Lender. I have my trusted local lender, Todd Fitton of Vera Mortgage with me once again. So Todd, I am so excited to have you on here today. I actually have a question to ask you that I've been getting from a lot of people. So I wanna bring up this topic. Joe Biden has been saying, I'm going to be giving money away to homeowners. And I've been hearing whether it's 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, we're hearing all these, you know, murmurings of money that's being promised from the government to homeowners. So I just want to touch on that and ask you, is this true? What does this mean? And can you kind of shed a little light on this? So I don't know the details. I know that there's been some things said. Uh, I'm not familiar yet if it has to do with current homeowners that um it's some kind of covid relief with current homeowners I, i'm i'm still not 100 percent sure that's something that would come down the the pipe from from either hud or from fannie mae and freddie mac some along those lines and there there's been no chatter on that side at all so until that actually happens it's just a rumor um that i'm hearing as well okay so i'm glad we clarified that if something comes up obviously we'll jump on one of these calls we'll post this up to our clients and our audience to let everyone know so i wanted to get that out of the way now speaking of money that comes from the government we have some stimulus checks that have been given to us and are still in the pipeline on their way to us so i wanted you to tell us a little bit about can people use some of the stimulus money towards the purchase of a house yeah, I, I think that we're probably going to see a lot of that because just like getting a tax refund this time of time of year, you have the stimulus check come in. It's all your money, so you can use, utilize it for however you want. If you want to put it all towards the house, you can put it all towards the house. Um, obviously, if it's your if that's your source of income, then I wouldn't rec recommend it necessarily. But if it's just extra money and you can and it's something that can be utilized as such, then then yeah, use it however you see fit. So during the application process, do they have to submit anything to you to show where the money came from? Or does the money have to be seasoned in their bank for a certain amount of time? Or can they use it right away? Should be able to use it right away because it's traceable funds. So it means that it's a, a government check. It'll it'll state that on the deposit. Perfect. Awesome. Well, I'm glad we were able to talk a little bit about government funds and stimulus because I know it's very relevant. And like you said, tax season's rolling around. So it's a great time also to use your tax money. So it's very similar to using your stimulus check in that way. So thank you for answering those questions. So Todd, give us an update on the market. What's going on with mortgage rates and what are you seeing? Uh, since the last time we talked, it's been a lot of the same, a lot of fear with the inflation still, uh, they're calling for anywhere between, uh, two and two and a half percent. The fed actually met the last 48 hours. They, they had a meeting yesterday and today we got the results of that meeting this morning and the results came back that the fed is expecting the inflation rate to hit 2.2%, which is fairly high with, within reason. Um, they have indicated that they will keep the fed rate at and, and near uh, 0% like it is now. And then they will, they will start uh, purchasing mortgage securities once again, which will help to stabilize the interest rates as we go into this inflationary period. So what does that mean? That means that the interest rates that we've seen go up, we should see it stabilize. Example and point would be today, the market started very, very ugly with regards to how we gauge interest rates. And then as the Fed's notes started coming out into the public's eye, those numbers came right back down and we closed at two o'clock with flat numbers. There literally was no, there was literally no change to the market today at all as a result. That is the best that we could hope for uh, with the inflation that we're looking at. Um, a stable market is a great market for us. Um, I don't think that we're, but them buying the mortgage backed securities in larger numbers, I don't think is going to put us in a position where we really see any better interest rates than what we have today, but rates are still fantastic. I mean, we're still, we're still seeing FHA loans with a two in front, even though it's the high twos now instead of the low twos. Um, conventional rates are still going to be in that three and a half percent to, to 3.75, somewhere in there. Um, again, it's all very uh, credit driven at this point. Um, we've even seen Cal HFA first time home buyer. I, I don't know if I mentioned it last time around, but they've increased the debt ratio from 43 to 45%, which gives us a little bit of flexibility uh, as far as how much you can qualify for. So we, we're seeing some things loosen up a little bit. I think we are seeing a little bit of that light at the end of the tunnel. I know Tulare County uh, entered into the red category today for COVID. So things should start opening up a little bit more. 
I believe Fresno County has already been in the red. So we're, we're starting to see the effects of the, the vaccines take place. We're, we're, not, we're not seeing the infection rates nearly as high. The, the hospital beds are opening up and, and therefore our, our, everything in, in our county will start to open up. Um, hopefully we see some increase in uh, some inventory on homes because that's still very low. That's going to continue to keep driving the, the value of homes up. And, but that with, with a stable interest rate should still make for a great market this year. Awesome. Thank you so much. So quick question about the interest rates and locking them in during the course of an escrow. Typically, when do you lock a rate? I know a lot of people right now are saying we're a little bit nervous about rates. Obviously, with this information from you, we're able to help understand and even sometimes forecast a little bit about what might happen. But buyers that are getting into the market now are thinking, well, I know the rates are good, but are they going to change in 30 days while I'm in escrow or while I'm shopping for a house? And so how exactly are you locking in the rates? And when does that happen? So once you have a contract, you're really in a position that you can look at locking your rate. So what I what I look at right now with the, the environment that we're in, if the customer is happy, if, if the buyer looks at, I give them the rate and the payment and they're happy with that, I would suggest locking in. Um, there's no sense in, in trying to play the market. It's so volatile. Um, it's, it's literally like trying to play the stock market and trying to find that one lucky stock that you're going to hit big that day. Um, I, I just, I hate, I hate to be wrong. It's great when you're right, but if you decide to play the market and you're wrong right now, because of how volatile it is, we could be wrong by a lot within a couple of hours on a day. So, but with that said, I am able to forecast things a little bit different. I can look at the market and what it's doing. Um, case in point, last week I had a loan, put it in, went to lock it, was talking to the customer, they were okay with it. And as I was talking to them, I watched the market start to go in favor of rates. And so I just told her, okay, we're good at this number. We're gonna hold that number, but I'm gonna play this market for a couple hours and see what happens because I think we're gonna end up with a midday price change or maybe a couple of them even, and it'll play to your favor and that rate will be less expensive. So I waited, I ended up getting that rate for free, whereas it had a cost before and she was happy and she got the rate and the payment that she wanted as well. So it, there's, those, there's those moments in time, just depending on what the market's doing that day, where I can maybe play with it a little bit, but for long-term, no, I don't, I don't recommend messing with this market right now. If, if you like the rate and you like the payment, go ahead and lock it in. You know, we're closing loans easily under 30 days now, so there's no, no reason to, to hold off. I mean, we can lock it for 30 days and we can close it before the lock expires without a problem. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you for explaining that. That just helps in order to articulate to my buyers that it's still a safe time to buy and mm -hmm. Todd Fitton with Vero Mortgage can be your lender and make sure you get the right rate. So that's perfect. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So we're going to make this a quick one today. Are there any things that you want to put out there wrapping it up today? Uh, just some some kudos to my team. We we just got the market update for last year, and once again, we absolutely crushed everybody. Oh so wow! Congratulations! We ended, with, we ended up with a super high market share of about fifteen percent, and that includes the big lenders. Um, abbreviations are Q and L, uh, and we beat them in rate. We typically beat them in time, and uh, we're local and they're not. So. If you guys need anything, let me know. I'm here for you. And then once you get a hold of me and you have my number, you've got me on lockdown. You can call me anytime. That's awesome. Well, the proof is in the pudding. So Vero Mortgage is the number one team to go to. Todd Fitton, I appreciate you. Thank you for jumping on another Talks with Todd the Lender. And we will be in touch very soon to update our clients and our audience members. So thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.